So in this video, I'm going to go over some uh, properties of roots. And, and these are just some basic things uh, that you can apply to most problems here. So remember that a root, uh, the symbol looks like this. And it could have a number uh, here on the left side of the symbol. Um, if there's no number, then that means it's a square root. If there's a number, then it means it's a nth root, where n is that number. So one of our most basic properties is that if you have two roots multiplied times each other, that's just the square root of their product. Now keep in mind that does not work for addition. So that right there is not true, and that's a very, very, very common mistake that many students make. And that's uh, the impetus behind a lot of um, incorrect answers on multiple choice questions on tests um, is making that type of mistake. So don't do that. Uh, you can do that with multiplication. You can do that with division also. Multiplication and division but not addition and not subtraction, obviously. Let me just put minus signs under there so to cover both uh, cases. So the other main thing um, that you need to worry about with roots is what you can do with powers of roots. So you know that, for example, the square root of a squared. There's actually a little bit of a trick to this. This is equal to absolute value of a, not just a by itself. So remember, absolute value means the positive version of that. Because, for example, let's say a was negative 3. Well, negative 3 squared is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, not negative 3. So we couldn't have just put A, or the answer would have been negative 3, which is incorrect. So going along with that, if you have a root like, for example, the cube root of, let's say, x to the sixth, there's a couple ways you can simplify that. So the first way you can do that is you can think about powers. Think about a root as a power. So keep in mind that. A square root is the same thing as saying the one-half power. So if you have a cube root, that's the same thing as saying a one-third power. You can use that to help you simplify what it will result in. However, you always have to be careful of whether your root is even or odd, because that can change your answer from absolute value or not. So the best way to think about this is you want to try to get as many terms of x, or whatever your number or variable is in there, with a power that's equal to the root. So x to the sixth is x cubed times x cubed, using your exponent rules, which will be done in another video. So using this, uh, let's number these. Using rule number one here, this is the same thing as cube root of x cubed times cube root of x cubed. So here's, herein lies the next rule. These are the same root power, root power, they're both the same. They were the same here and we got absolute value of a instead of regular a. That is because that was an even root. If it's an odd root, you just get the value. So this is just x. And this is just x. So we get x squared, because that was an odd root. So if it's an odd root, you can always just take what that number is. If it's an even root, you always end up with the absolute value of that. So those are our four main properties of roots that are going to arise in these courses.